Their psychological warfare has been an effective tool against us all, to the point that even a person such as myself, who knows the score, who knows history, real history, who knows what they have done, who knows what they are continuing to do, who has an idea of what they will do in the future if we allow them to do this, who have seen all the patterns, who can put the pieces of the puzzle together, and understands the uh, psychological warfare that they have engaged uh, against us and used against us my entire life and beyond completely brainwashing people, manipulating them, um, fooling them into accepting this false guilt and this false reality. Even a person such as myself, who understands all of this, who knows the nature of my enemy, I still am on the defensive. But I'm not only on the defensive, or at least trying to counter all of their angles, all of the slander and all the lies. Basically, I know the average person believes that I'm going to fit a certain mold. I must be a racist. I must be an anti-Semitic. I must be a white supremacist. I must be all these things. So I get on the defensive to cut the angle of the Jew off, basically. All these things are attacks on the messenger. I want people to hear my message. So I get on the defensive and tell them, well, I'm a racist. However, I did this, that, and the other, and a bunch of personal stuff in my life. There's uh, tactics in doing that, obviously. Like I said, I'm cutting their angles off, trying to get people past me and on to the facts, which is all I want them to do. It's all I've ever wanted them to do. But part of it, part of it, deep down inside of me, there's still a subconscious level of guilt. I want to prove that I'm a good person. I want to prove to everyone I'm a good man. You know, I've sacrificed myself for everyone, for different people that aren't even white. I'm supposed to be this racist and stuff like that. So some of it is legitimate uh, defensiveness on my part, where we have been told for so long our entire lives that we're just these evil, hateful, racist people that have committed countless sins against the entire world. Basically, everything that Jews have done, they have put off on us, and we've had to accept this false history um, that our ancestors were said to have done, committed all these atrocities and stuff. And for a good person, that's not something that any good a person would want to accept. And that's, a, that's one of the reasons why a lot of whites that are not in the know would automatically reject a person like me. They want to distance themselves as far as they possibly can from a person that they perceive to be a racist. And, you know, I'm the bastard that gave them the bad name. I'm the one that, that these Jews and the Jew media, obviously they don't know it's Jews, but that the media always talks about, always portrays as being evil, hateful, racist, and stuff like that. And they want to be the Schindler. All the other evil Nazis, all the other evil whites and racist whites, old-fashioned, racist, hateful, whip-cracking whites, they want to be that one good white that the Jews have always allowed for in their uh, propaganda, in their movies and television shows. They always give that one example. So white people accept, it does two things. Number one, it has white people accepting that most whites are bad, but it gives them a role model, someone to act like, someone to uh, idolize and let's be like that person and let's dismiss all these other people. Let's reject them. As a matter of fact, let's attack them because these peace-loving hippies, these people who have been pacified, they're not going to go af after anyone. However, they would come after me in a heartbeat and not think twice about it because they feel that I am the epitome of all evil. They have been taught that just simply saying, hey, white pride or whatever, I don't say that, but the point is that we should have pride in our race and we should want to survive, right? Which is all I'm basically saying. Freedom and self-governance, right? But when they start hearing, oh, Jew, and when they start hearing the very basic things that I'm saying, pointing out simple facts, no true hatred behind it, uh, no animosity towards any other group of people, other Gentiles, that is, people who don't have the collective intent, but yet they would still reject these things. They've been so thoroughly programmed. Why? Because they're, they're good people. I'm definitely not taking that away from them, and these Jews have played upon our kindness, and they've used it as a weakness against us. And as much as they've been pacified, they would, re they would unleash hell upon a person like me, and they wouldn't even think twice about doing it. Not at all. Whatever happened to me, I'm getting my just desserts. Wouldn't matter what it is, how far from reality that idea that they have in their head is, doesn't matter. They are going to justify it. The bottom line, though, is it is such a powerful influence over most of our lives, including a person such as myself, who now realizes for several, several years now that these were all lies, and I, I know the meaning behind it. I understand it. I, I really, truly do. But I still have something inside me that I feel that it is necessary. As I'm stating the facts, I can't just get on video 
for um, 10 minutes to state the facts, I have to spend 20 minutes because half the time I have to sit here and, and um, knock down all the, uh, the lies, all the um, slander and stuff like that, all stuff about me just so I can get to the point, just so I can get people to open themselves up to the facts. Don't get me wrong, I put all that aside if I thought that I could still be effective in reaching the average person and that is my agenda. But either way, my general point in this little clip right here is to point out that this, this stuff has a very powerful effect even on people who are in the know. So I can truly understand the uh, manner in which the average person feels completely justified in rejecting someone they perceive to be all these evil, hateful, horrible things that they have been conditioned to believe a person such as myself to be. And um, that's just simple Gentile, specifically European psychology, taking our generally kind and empathetic ways and using them against us. It's definitely something that um, we have to overcome.